Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this sunny, sunny, sunny Wednesday morning. And yes, it is Wednesday. It's trash and recycling day around here. But it is a sunny, cold. Just have to scrape the, uh, the ice off the windows on Donna's car so she could get to work. Um, I'm going to be working from home this morning, as I usually do Wednesday mornings. And then uh, heading down, of course, for the Bible study and prayer time this afternoon. So yes, we do have prayer from 2 to 3 and Bible study from 3 to 4. And invite you. Sanctuary is open. Please join us. And uh, let's uh, pray together. And let's... Uh, study the Word of God together. We're going to be in uh, Galatians chapter 3 today, so uh, join us. All right, here we are down at the river. That's, uh, we're good. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That sun is just cresting right there. And uh, absolutely beautiful. Well, passage I want to read to you today, Acts chapter 4. Um, I guess I have to say that again, because I think we were in there the other day too. But um, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. You know, you, you like the whole thing, right? You like the whole Bible. Well, there's some passages that, uh, you know, are easy to read through and some that are a little bit, you know, going to slug through with all the names and whatever. Well, here's a passage that, uh, or should I say a verse. This verse here just, as they would say, hits me in the feels, all right? This verse here just thrills me. Um, because I've seen it, happen in our day and age and uh, certain people I know who I've seen this reality in their life and uh, glimpses of it in my life and I just wish and here's the hope that it's going to be a lot more frequent a lot more often a lot more consistent and uh, so it's the hope I'm sharing with you a beautiful verse and uh, there's a hope here. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. So the story here is uh, Peter and John are in front of the authorities again. You know the story. Um, you know, every time they did anything miraculous or, <clears throat> excuse me, anything that uh, stood out, uh, the authorities and the leaders kind of got all over them. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to, you know, upset the 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 status quo, you know, I love to set the normal here and, uh, you know, and so jumped all over them for this and uh, they asked the man who'd been healed what had happened and back and forth, interrogation here. But here is the, kind of the conclusion of the matter almost. I mean, it's not the, the sentencing, but here's what the authorities saw. This is cool. All right, so here we are. Let me try to turn this so you can read it. Okay. Verse 13, when they saw the courage of Peter and John and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they were astonished and took note that these men had been with Jesus. You see, when I woke up this morning, after my little clean up and dress up and whatever, grabbed a cup of coffee and went downstairs and opened the Bible. And I knew at that moment, I knew it, I sensed it, I was sure of it, that I was with Jesus. And so the invitation is to 
remain, or as the King James would say, abide in him all day. Continue to abide in the Lord. So that whenever you do meet up with anybody, they might be astonished and realize and know that you have been with Jesus. It means your words will be kind and encouraging. You will bring healing and peace. You will be doing the work of the Father. Because that's what Jesus did. You will have no fear, full of compassion. Because those are marks of the Spirit of God, alive and active in you. Let that be your day today and in the days ahead. That the world might know, that everybody we run into might know that we have been with Jesus. Come on, that's a great goal to aim for. Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your sweet, sweet presence. Thank you, O oh God, for the compassion and the love that you have towards us, but towards the rest of the world. And that you fill us with compassion. That we might be those who lift others up, encourage them, strengthen them. That we might reach out to the brokenhearted and the poor in spirit. That we might be the hands and feet of Jesus. And that the world might be astonished and know that we have been with Jesus today. We pray these things in the beautiful and sweet, sweet name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Friends, I really hope to see you at uh, this afternoon from uh, 2 to 3 for prayer, 3 to 4 for Bible study, right at Church on the Hill in Coburg. Uh, and uh, doors are open. So 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Come when you can, leave when you must. And uh, we'll see you there. God bless you. Cheers.